Hi everyone, this is Boris Alec from Coffee and Watches, where art and science converge. This is part two of the Rolex Milgals. Here we're going to cover a little bit of its history. The specs, how it works on my six and a half inch or 16.5 centimeter wrist circumference, and my prediction regarding this watch. Please remember to like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell. Your support is greatly appreciated. Getting back into the program, the Rolex Milgals is a pioneering anti-magnetic watch created to meet the demands of engineers and scientists. Created in year 1956, the watch can withstand magnetic fields of up to 1,000 gauss. Therefore, it's named Mili, which is French for 1,000. The first watch of its kind, the Milgals combines unique aesthetics and science. The decade of the 50s saw an accelerated growth in technology and science exposing engineers and scientists to magnetic fields at work and causing damage to watches. Rolex worked to develop a watch that will be able to withstand electromagnetic fields and develop a magnetic shield, a Faraday cage, to protect the mechanical movement. This cage redirects the electromagnetic field around the watch, preventing a direct interaction with internal mechanical movement. After launching the first Milgals in 1956, Rolex partnered with CERN, C -E -R -N, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, to test the anti-magnetic properties of the watch. The watch was successfully tested. This partnership continues today. Rumor has it that when Rolex created the green sapphire crystal that we have here, in year 2007, they did not patent it. Apparently, the process for creating the crystal is very costly and labor intensive. That Rolex was confident that no one else would put the effort to recreate the process. Hence, the patent for the green sapphire crystal was never filed. This model that I have in my hands is the Rolex Milgauss reference number 116400 GV Z Blue dial. This specific watch was released in year 2014 with this special blue sunburst dial that we see here. The latest generation of the Milgauss was introduced in year 2007 in Basel World. Three models were released, the white dial and the black dial with a clear sapphire crystal. The third one was a black dial with the green sapphire crystal. This model that I'm showing is the sea blue dial with the green sapphire crystal and it was released in year 2014. As a side note, Basel World used to be one of the biggest watch fairs in the world where watch brands will introduce their latest creations to the public. Unfortunately, Basel World is no longer in existence. However, there is a new event that is called Watches and Wonders that took over its place. Going back to our main subject, this Milgal surprised watch collectors and enthusiasts with a green sapphire crystal and orange lightning bolt second hand that we can see here. The watch is 40 millimeters in diameter, its thickness is 13.1 millimeters, it has a conical slope, high polished bezel which helps in sliding it underneath any dress cuff. The lock to lock distance is 49.1 millimeters across the wrist. The lock width is 20 millimeters. The watch has a solid case back, solid end links, solid center links, and a milled out steel clasp. This timepiece is made out of 904L stainless steel which is superior to traditional 316L stainless steel that is found in commonly many other brands. 904L has incredible high corrosion resistance. This type of steel contains more chromium, molybdenum, and nickel than 316L steel. It also contains some copper, manganese, and silicon which improves corrosion resistance. This model has 
polished center links, polished auto flanks, satin finish on the shoulders. This watch wears true to its lock-to-lock -lock distance because the bracelet can be pulled down and we can see that the locks protrude. The bracelet has been designed with a taper. The clasp is fully polished on the inside and it comes with a 5 mm Rolex Easy Link system so that you can add or take out 5 mm of additional length as your wrist expands or contracts through activity in hot or cold weather. And I'm going to show that right here. You just pull this guy out and then if you want to resize it, you just pull it in and you will hear a click. And then to expand it, you will just pull right here and you just gain five millimeters. And then you put it back in to reduce it five millimeters. It's easy. The reason this model looks thicker when compared to a Rolex Datejust is because underneath the solid case contains a soft iron inner cage around the mechanical movement that protects the watch from magnetic fields of up to 1,000 gauss, hence the world mil gauss. That's the reason there is no date on the watch as that will create an opening where magnetic fields could enter and affect the watch movement. Magnetic fields can be found in many places, such as microwave ovens, computers, speakers, metal detectors, your cell phone, etc. The timepiece is 100 meters water resistance due to its screw down crown that we have here. The watch caliper is the 3031 movement. The dial of this piece is an electric blue with a sunburst finish which gives us different shades of blue depending on the lighting conditions as we can see here. The second hand has an orange color with the design of a lighting bulb that reminds us that this watch was created with the idea of electromagnetic fields. This orange color is also present in the name Milgauss at the 12 o'clock location and also in the Arabic numeral surrounding the 18 karat white gold hour markers. The Rolex crown hour and minute hands are also made out of 18 karat white gold. The hour markers glow in the dark so that you can still read the time. The timepiece contains caliper 3131 with 31 joules bidirectional automatic winding with 48 hours of power reserve. The watch features hacking seconds so that you can synchronize it to a reference time. It also is shock resistance. The movement is COSC certified. COSC is an organization that determines the accuracy and precision of luxury watches using several parameters. In English, this organization is translated as the official Swiss Chronometer Testing Institute. Being COSC certified means that the watch is accurate to minus four to plus six seconds a day. This Rolex watch has this certification and more because Rolex gives this watch the classification of superlative chronometer, which is a higher standard imposed internally by Rolex. This Rolex standard goes beyond the COSC certification, giving the watch an accuracy of minus two to plus two seconds. This accuracy is superior to many watch brands. The watch works comfortably and well on my six and a half inch circumference wrist, as you can see here. So my wrist is six and a half inch in circumference or 16.5 centimeters. There's a good clearance between the edge of my wrist and the tip of the watch locks. Now, many rumors 
are floating around saying that Rolex might discontinue this model in 2023. Others say that the watch will get a makeover. My prediction for this watch is that Rolex will refine the model. I believe the potential new model will have crown guards to make it sportier, which in this case will protect the crown here. A new movement could be incorporated. Most likely the 3200 series caliper, which will provide approximately 70 hours of power reserve, as opposed to the existing 48 hours. And the watch thickness might get reduced if the 3200 series caliper movement is used. Let me know what you think about this watch. Do you like it or would you choose a different model? What's your prediction about this timepiece? Let me know in the comment section below. And please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell so that we can do this again. Thank you and enjoy your watches.